here we are. Welcome back, folks. Welcome to Cooking with Nene and Murray. Who? Murray. <laughs> Who? We're doing this a little different tonight. And um, we are cooking this week collards. And we've got a surprise. We're doing cornbread tomorrow night. You'd like to tune in tomorrow night to see the special way and variations of cornbread we're going to be cooking. So you better just tune in tomorrow night at what time? 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Same bat time? <laughs> Same bat channel. You're so, a bat. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm working the camera, so it's not going to be all that great. <laughs> so we're, like I said, we're cooking collards and um, cornbread. So collards take a minute to cook, and they're really better the second day anyway. So I went to uh, the local proprietor of groceries in our neighborhood and um, to get a bunch of collards, a couple bunches fresh collards you know what i'm talking about yeah fresh collards right out of the ground right out of the ground lo and behold they have no fresh bunches of collards why why don't they have fresh because bunches of collards the same reason they don't have corn on the shelf because it's just the way they are and i'm not mentioning any names I guess they didn't have my sugar-free chocolate bars either, they did do they? Not. Wow, I just remembered Our that. <laughs> local proprietor of grocers, we may be having to swap to a new one because it's going to be good. Anyway, let's get off that. This get is off negative. that. This is positive. Let's don't be a negative. Negative Nelly. Can't have no negative Nelliness going on with cooking with Nay Nay and Murray. No, absolutely negative so, not. So, as I'm making my way through the produce department, I look. And lo and behold, I come across Baker Farms. Hold on, here. hold on. Let me take a close. Let me get in close on that. Baker Farm shredded collards, and I was kind of disappointed because I wasn't going to be able to show how to prepare them and everything. But preparing collards takes a minute because you got to wash them. About three times, then you got to chop them up. You got to take the stem out of them. You ain't never cooked no collards from a bunch. They're a good bit of work. So then I see right here, triple washed premium greens. And uh, so I looked this place, this Baker Farm up. And then Conquer County down in a little town called... Uh, uh, Norman Park, down below, I think it's down below uh, Tifton, and uh, so I said, well, I'd like to support local, so here we go, we got some Georgia, and they're beautiful, I mean, look how pretty they are, that's the prettiest, just, cut. just the prettiest collards I've ever seen in my ever life, ever seen, so ever. this is Baker's Farms, and you can go, do they have, a, I believe they have a website here. on there, here, here let me just, up. let me just get another close up of that, Baker's Family Produce dot com. Hey, look who it is. There's Jackson. Whoop. Hello, Jack. Say so, hey, uh, Jack. When you're your local grocery store, find you some Baker's uh, Farms collars, and they sell other things too, uh, kale and and lettuce and go on their website and it's got all the list of everything and i don't know they may mail order i don't know but uh do that so this is what we're using tonight because we ain't got to wash i'm gonna tell you tell you us collar, tell like us i say you got to cut the stems out of them you got to wash them rinse out take them out of the water make you got to wash them two or three times to get all the grit and sand off of them well, these are triple washed and so we're just gonna Put them in the pan just the way they are. We ain't got to wash them and cut the stems out and chop them up. So, Jack is behind you scratching. So, uh, to start off with, we're going to use our handy dandy pampered chef 
veggie chopper. Which, by the way, go ahead, chop. Uh, go on. <laughs> You're so silly. Um, I'm having a pampered chef party if you want to go. You'd like an invite, let me know. Let her know. So anyway, we're starting out. We just want to get that cut up. It's a whole Vidalia onion. Speaking of Georgia, not far Speaking from the of, there. Keeping Georgia on our mind. Look at all that conglomeration of stuff you have over there. What you got going? All right. We're going to really... Lar for, you can use olive oil. You can use whatever. But guess why I'm using this? What are you using, Nathan? Guess why I'm using lard. Lard? Guess. Why? Why? Let me guess. Because I can. <laughs> That's why. Just because. You are the I silliest man. I oh, swanny. And uh, two tablespoons. You can use whatever. You can use olive oil. We're going to make these good and healthy. So we're going to use a little lard. That's healthy? Yeah. It's got actually better fats and vegetable oil. But you can use olive oil. I did but not know you were a doctor. I do more than just play one on TV. I bet. Well. So we're going to do... Two, now that's what? Two tablespoons of lard. And that's just going, what, straight into the big old straight boiler. The, the There's nothing one. in there yet but lard. 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 I wish you'd look at that lard. And um, so we're going to turn this up, get her heated up. And we're, you can, once again, if you got a ham hock, if you got a ham bone left over from, you know, Honey baked ham, got your ham bone and mm. put the ham bone in there, put ham hock, put bacon, you can fry out bacon, put bacon in there. But tonight we are using smoked ham. What you got your eye on over there? Temperature wise. 2020. You? You got silly. my eye on you. No, silly goose, on the stove. Are you doing it high, medium, low? Doing it hot. Hot. All right. I've got it on high because I want to get it going. Get it going good. Get it going good. How about that? Yes, I'm going to put it on. Or do you just cut a finger off, aren't you? I might. So, I'm going to put this hand on. Oh, it's sizzling already. Hard the, the smoke, Nathan. What about that smoke from? Yeah, smoke long. This steam mainly. Steamy. Turn that. I like to, uh, what's that, a wooden spoon down here? Well, I believe there is like a teak spoon over there. Nope. Maybe I could have sworn there was one down here. And I like to get a little brownness on this ham because you know when you brown something, you crinkle it, you know, you crust it up a little bit. Uh -huh. This adds flavor. You know? It sure does. Oh my gosh. You know, I love like them a, little crispy things on the bottom of the like pan. like a burnt hot dog, you know? <laughs> I like my hot dogs crispy. I like me some crispy dog I like too. My marshmallows a little on the dark side. I do too. I like some really some pretty dark ones. You know, when I grill chicken, I like it to be a little. What else? There's something else we like. Oh, fries. Fries have got to yeah. be crispy. So you know, I'm just gonna crisp this ham up. I say, is it crispy looking yet? Well, so we're crisping the ham, uh, ham up. I'm just going to go ahead and add my 
pretty good size of my day. Uh, Georgia grown, Georgia sown, Georgia pit, and this is gonna be Georgia eight. <laughs> Man, that's really gonna start smelling pretty good here in a second. Those onions. Mm. Now we're just gonna let them marry. Matt Mary, <laughs> as Paul says. Hey, we got some other pretty good news tomorrow night we're going to be talking about. Yeah, we do. I'm excited to talk about that. We're going to talk about her trip. Well, we did a, a trip, and I did a trip, too, yeah, with my girlfriend. That was pretty fun. <laughs> We've been busy. Been... So, um, that's kind of Mary and I'm going to add this and I'm 32 just... ounce bag of Baker Farms Shredded Collards. Wash three times, Georgia grown. <laughs> How about that? How about us being about silly? What else is new, right? Man, that smells good. Those onions smell heavenly. Um, what is going to pour these collards in there to get them to wilt a little bit? Wilty. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful lick the nectar of nectar the, of the fats? Yeah. <laughs> Lard. Lard. I just want you to look that whole. And think about collards. And you think it looks like he's got a bunch of collards in there. It's going. These collards going. They going to wilt down. Are you putting both bags in there? No. I'm just trying to get some of that ham. Get it mixed up. Get it all up in there. Trying to get them flavors. Oh, Mary. Together. Lord. Sometimes you got to stir the pot. You were classic pot stirrer, weren't you, when you were the to fireman? Make the love. Lord, oh mercy. Here we go. Here we go. Stirring you the pot. You don't stir the pot every once in a while. You don't get the flavor? You don't get the flavor. Hey, right. Oops. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm not the best camera person. It was too late to call Tim. See, now, look here. Do you need me to come in? Yeah, because look at them. They've already shrunk the half. Look at that, shrunk the half. What you got going in that microwave? Oh, sorry. I'm going to turn a little light on the subject. Oh, it's fine. It's good. Not for me, though. Right? Oh. Because... <laughs> what you meant for the camera. <laughs> but I'm just... Kind of just all mixed wilting up. these collards a little bit, mixing that onion, ham, and nectar of the fat gods and the pig. Nectar of the pig gods. Those look pretty blasted good already. They're so green, bright. All right. So What's now. What's next, Nathan? Nay, nay. Calls for six. I would usually use like six cups of chicken broth. But being that we only had one box and I went going back to a store. To said proprietor. To said proprietor. One box is four cups. So we're going to do that and about two cups of water. But if you cook them at home, a box and a half of chicken stock or chicken broth would be what you would want. Sufficient. So we're going to do chicken broth and two cups of water in this beautiful, tell them about it. Pioneer woman measuring cup, pitcher, cup, pitcher. Measuring cup, see? It is a measuring cup, but it's as it's almost as big as a pitcher. I think it's like six cups or something, right? Four cups. Four. Man, that smells delicious. Hey, Jackie. Y'all say hey to Jack. Hey, Jack. Jackie. So now. Okay, now what? Now what you got going? 
We got, got an onion, we got ham, we got two tablespoons of water, we got a bag of Baker Farm. Shredded and triple washed collars. Georgia grown. You try to put like four cloves of minced garlic, so that's about, I don't know, probably about two there. And we're using Goya minced garlic. By Goya. They feed the homeless. They do a lot of good work. Yes. By Goya. And it's supporting Goya. Goya. I had. Just nothing. put the rest of it in there. We're about gone anyway, aren't they? We're going to have some collards, all right. Some, The ones that the vampires aren't going to want to eat. Garlic. And we're going to do. Two. Two. Teaspoons. Here's, here's one. Get on the tea. Lard. Just. Lard. What? What? Now, Look at gonna, you. That was pretty close. Four teaspoons. Four. No, no, no. Two teaspoons two of salt. Two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons of salt. Two, two teaspoons, teaspoons of pepper. pepper. Lord, Nathan. All right. Salt and pepper added. Now what? Uh, if you like them a little spicy, I like my color just a little spicy. And this... All the taste. Some red pepper flake. Yes. I like a little bit of spicy on mine, too. And. Ooh, what's that? Frank's? Frank's red hot. I like me some Frank's. Like I said, mainly, you don't a whole lot, but I mean, you want enough to give it a little flavor. And a little secret family rest, uh, secret, family secret here. Family, a oh lard, I just cut your head off. Sorry. Little, what you got there? Some, some White apple House. Cider White vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. We're just going to put a couple capfuls. All right. Oh my gosh. Don't even do that. That would make me so sick. Jackie. That's pretty much it, folks. Is that all? Yeah. Here's and, Jack. Uh, hey, buddy. We're going to get these things cooking tonight. We'll get them back out tomorrow and get them warmed up and on the stove. So when we cook this cornbread, y'all going to have to turn to the end tomorrow night because we have a surprise for you. Some yummy, yummy. Cornbread in your tummy. I'm telling you. I'm excited. Randall probably knows what kind of cornbread I'm going to cook. So don't say anything if you do. He, now he, he will, because now that you've said to, not. All right, well. So, anyway. What do you think? He's uh critters cook and go in there and finish uh, watching the rays get beat. Oh, my gosh. I don't even want to talk about it. Let's look at these babies real quick. Here's, here's this right here. Next time you see those, they'll probably look a little different. A little darker green, don't, won't they be? Yeah. That beautiful, beautiful pot liquor. And it's not liquor like... Drunk liquor. It's L-I-K-K-E-R. Okay. Liquor. Not L-I-Q-U-O-R. Pot liquor. Okay. Or liquor, but it's liquor. What, are you, what is it again, Nathan? Liquor. What kind of liquor? Pot liquor. You You're pot a... liquor. They're so good, you get <laughs> the pot. That's how you get yeah, pop liquor. <laughs> oh my god. You are so silly. So we're gonna let these babies cook down a little bit. We'll stir them up every so often. Let them How long I are mean, we gonna let them cook? I mean you can cook them as soon as forty five minutes. I mean they'll be tender, but I like to cook mine in about a couple of hours. I, you know, and on maybe like what medium? Oh, medium once they heat? get to boiling, yeah. I mean, you turn them down low, just on low, just to have them simmer. Okay, on low after they yeah. get to boiling, so you can cook them as long as you want, really, as long as it's forty-five minutes or yeah. longer. And you know, because um, never turn your back to the camera. I kind of like it when you turn yeah. your back to the camera. But now, pick, I was gonna pick 
collards in my overhauls today. But I didn't have no collards to pick. So I just wore them anyway. I love your your overalls. I was going to say your collard picking overalls. So anyway, we're going to post this tonight. Y'all watch this and then we'll come back with cornbread. And done collards. So there you have it. That's how you make some good collars. They smelling good. Mommy, little baby, look short, man. It's not the Corn time bread. for. It's not the time for a song. <laughs> oh yes. All right, folks. We love y'all. See y'all tomorrow night. Y'all didn't see me tonight. Ha 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 ha. You will tomorrow though. Yeah. Love you. There's my hand. Love y'all. See y'all.